Am I focusing on his face? No. It's not focusing on his face yet. Photography community called GAS, G-A-S, which stands for Gear Acquisition Syndrome. It sounds funny, but it's when a photographer gets addicted to the latest and the greatest all the time. My knees have been hurting. That's what happens when you get old. I'm going to do half body. Good. Good, look at camera please. One, two, three, very nice. Good, one, two, and three. Same pose looking, but can I have one of your hands touch the Guam seal necklace? Just like that, yeah. Very soft, good, one, two, and three. Okay, let me get three-fourth body. Good. One, two, three. One, two, three, good. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am reviewing the Sony 135mm 1.8 G Master lens. This is one of my favorite lenses now for the Sony E-mount system. I used to own the Zeiss 135mm 1.8 lens for the A-mount system, which was many years ago, I had the A99 Mark II uh, A-mount um, SLT camera, and I'm happy Sony uh, released this back in 2019. So I'm able, I was able to get it for this year because I went back to Sony, and the pictures coming out of this lens is just really nice. Uh, some first impressions is, of course, it's a long lens, so shooting our model today, Ina, I actually had to kind of go back a little further and I, my back was against the bushes. Um, so you gotta make sure you're in the area where you can actually go far back if you wanna get the full body shots. Uh, so most of the shots that you've probably seen already in the video is kind of half body, three fourth body. Uh, so I would like to introduce our model today. Hi, I'm Ina Palacios. Um, I'm Chamorro Filipino, born and raised on Guam. Um, I live in Portland now. And yeah, here I am back home, loving it, enjoying the sun. Actually really hot right now, sweat stripping yeah. down my back. Very Sweating humid. down my neck. Yeah. <laughs> When's the last time you've been on Guam? Um, the last time I was home was about two years ago, but before that it was, it was like six years. So I didn't really get to I got to experience before the typhoon, mm -hmm. and now I'm experiencing that after kind of seeing the differences. Um, it's interesting. It's um, eye-opening, I would say. Yes. So, I don't know. I feel like after the typhoon, I kind of was like, I need to be home. Mm -hmm. I need to be grounded. I need to feel back yes. where I belong. And so... And you're really feeling back on where you belong because you're going I barefoot am. right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> doing the shoot, <laughs> which I think it matches your outfit, all natural. Yes. And we're not getting like two posy pictures, but mm -hmm. you know, all natural photos. Um, your makeup matches the sunlight, the greens in the background. Uh, but what do you think about the pictures coming out from the lens itself? The pictures are amazing. Really great. I'm like, like I don't even know. I can't stop looking at oh, that's them. So nice. I like I'm that, scrolling that yeah. and I'm staring and I'm like, who is that? <laughs> it's you. And that's me. <laughs> yeah. So. We'll keep on I shooting. We have it. a second outfit soon. So we'll shoot maybe for like 30 more minutes. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, this will be full body, okay? Let me see if I can get a low angle. Nice. Are you able to look directly to the sun? But close your eyes, close your eyes so you don't break your eyeballs. Good, one, two, and three. And then when I count to three, open your eyes to the sun. One, two, and three. These ones, I feel like 
that really lower shows. angle. Like this one a lot too. Mm -hmm. So I like it really shows that like taking it in. Yes. So some external features of this lens is there's two buttons on the outside and you can actually program it to go into APS-C mode because you're using the Sony a7R5. And when you press it to go into APS-C mode or crop mode, this lens actually converts to like a 200 millimeter equivalent um, 2.8 around there. And that's if you want like extra reach. You just press that button and it goes into crop mode. And then there's switches for full focus from infinity to close and you can even adjust it from I'm looking here 0.7 to 2 meters or infinity 1.5 meter I just always have it on full and of course autofocus and manual focus but I think a lot of photographers may appreciate using this on a higher megapixel camera like this one 87 r5 because in crop mode you actually do get a 26 megapixel photo which is still plenty so pressing that button this lens becomes a 200 millimeter 2.8 lens so Ina, photos, you're saying you like some of them? Yes, I do. The full body ones look nice. The full body ones are very nice. It captures, but also blurs out. Looks like, really 3D look actually, bottom, yeah. yes. It's like, ooh. Oh, you just press the play button right there, yeah. It looks like um, you used like a magnetic lasso and pulled it to the front above like all the other. The areas. compression of the background with you being in focus. Yeah, I can, I can see. And I was like going low to the ground to try to give that 3D effect where the ground's kind of blurry a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Nice. I like this. We'll shoot a little bit more and then we'll change into the second outfit at a different location. Two and three. I like to pose how you're reaching up a little bit, but not too much. Let me. Are you able to come into here and peek out through this pocket? The camera should be able to focus on your eyes. Gosh, it's a lot of spiders. Okay, a little closer. Good. Two and three. Are you able to look out, please? Good, very nice. And look back at the camera. So Ina's just going to demonstrate how sharp this lens is, wide open at 1.8. And she's going to zoom in on her face. Look at that. Very sharp eyes, freckles, eyebrows, and then zoom out just to show the distance. So wide open 1.8, zooming on her face, super sharp. Wow. Yeah. Again, gives a really nice 3D effect. Okay, closer shot. We're going to zoom in. Wow, look at that. It's crazy. Good, just so I can see a little bit your other eye, good. One, two, three. One, two, three, good. Okay, three, four, body. Very nice, getting to see. Get a lower angle. Okay, three fourth body. One, two, three, good. I'm getting mostly this guy. One, two, three, good. Two, three.
Okay, wand wandering around. Good. This is full body. Good, walking towards me. I'm not yelling at you, Kay. It's just that it's far away. Good. Okay, looking at the ocean. Some snorkel washed up. Okay, good, on three. Okay, three fourth body. Keep good, closing eyes. One, two, three. Play with your hair just a little bit. Don't lose balance. Half body. One, two, three. Okay, look at camera. Good. So Jonathan's recording me at 0.5 on the iPhone 15 Pro Max because he's that close. But because I'm using the 135 millimeter telephoto lens to get full body of Eno, I actually have to go all the way back and do landscape like this. And I always tell Eno, I'm not shouting at you. It's because I want you to hear me when I'm telling you how to pose. So I'm not angry or mad. It's just the, the distance is so far. But so this, you know, as you can see, this is how far I, got, I need to go to get. And you can see behind here, to get full body like this, some environmental portraits, or like this landscape mode. Okay, taking shots, one, two, three. Let me see if I can get a lower angle. Okay, good, one, two, and three. Okay, look at camera. Smile just a little bit. Good, okay. Okay, good. One, two, and three, good, using the wind. You can stare out into the ocean. Nice. Okay, we are done with our photo shoot. We've been shooting for almost two hours till sunset at 6 p.m. Ina, how do you like the photo so far coming out from this lens? I'm loving all the photos, um, going through them from start and then looking at mm. the end. It's just like, you really, it captured all of like not only nature, but like the yes. different times of the sun making its way down. I was actually surprised I was able to get like environmental portraits towards the end, meaning your, the surrounding areas. But of course, with this lens, I just have to stand like far back and luckily we have enough room here for me to stand far back. And the pics of uh, Ina up there on the rock, looking towards the sunset, uh, this lens was able to capture it, capture it perfectly. Um, Ina, you're very sharp in the photo and the background, there's still a blur in the background, even at that far distance. 
So it does make it pop out and it does seem 3D. Yeah, I like that. And it stands out, but it doesn't take away from the surroundings. Yes. Well. It's like Do you have a... Um, I'm sorry? It's like two separate things, but yes. it's also meshed into one. I love it. Do you have Instagram where our YouTuber, or YouTube viewers can follow you? I do have Instagram. It is Ina La 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 La. So I N A L A L A L A L A. Four L A's. Yes. <laughs> and of course, I'll put it on the screen and in the description below. Thank you so much for helping me test this lens out. Thank you. I know you're busy on your visit to Guam from Portland, but I really appreciate your time, uh, taking your time to come out and help me out and test this lens. It's been so amazing. This has been a nice adventure for yes, me. It I've is. never been here, so this is very nice. And to watch the sunset from yes. here is very nice as well. Thank you everyone for watching Guam Photography. And if you haven't, please subscribe. Bye. I don't know what scene is next. <laughs> Can I look at the? Why you? <laughs> you know, you know when Garfrey edit. I hope you don't see a dead body, <laughs> dead body floating next. I think me and you are both kind of tired and we're like. I know we're like, oh god. Uh, <laughs> like, we may I say that already? <laughs>